So how do we then make sure that we have intelligible mixes? The most important thing is your ears. Mix at a calibrated level and make sure that you can hear the words. Then we are adding some extra tools with Clarity X that makes you perform that task even better. If you don't mix calibrated, you tend to make very different mixes from time to time because your spectrum will be very different. Your mix decisions will depend on your uh, mixing level or your the level you're listening at in the control room. So if you're listening at a high level, you have a tendency of uh, using less bass and treble, and if you're listening at a low level, uh, the opposite is true. So from these curves, you can see that if you're mixing at around 60 dB SPL, which is our normal speech level, you'll have a difference in sensitivity between 1 kHz and 100 Hz, or around 26 dB. But if you're mixing at 80 dB SPL, the same difference will be only 18 dB. So you'll do a different mix at different uh, listening levels. That's why it's very important to stay at the same level so you can make consistent mixes from time to time. Basically, any loudspeaker can be calibrated. But of course, if you have a very low quality speaker, you might not be able to produce a high SPL, but uh, given that you have a decent uh, size speaker and a decent uh, output capability, any speaker can be loudness calibrated. There are several standards for calibration and they're actually multiplying, which is a little bit confusing maybe to to users nowadays. So right now EBU has released a new version of calibration which builds on the R128 standard. There's also ATSC A85 and there's the SEMTE RP200 standard. The ATSC and the EBU standards are for broadcast. So that's the typical ones you'd be using if you're doing drama production for television. But you'll normally be using the RP200 if you're doing a film mix which is at a higher sound pressure level. Calibration of uh, monitors basically depends on a calibration signal and it depends on a microphone for measuring the actual absolute sound pressure level. For the same reason Clarity X comes with a microphone that's been calibrated from the factory, so you're sure that it's correct with regard to absolute loudness. So you basically place it in your listening position and then you calibrate one loudspeaker at a time and you know the microphone is accurate, so you're using the calibration signal in the processor itself and you're using the microphone and that way any room can be calibrated uh, quite easily. Another side of the coin is headphones, because you might be using headphones occasionally or you might be using primarily headphones. And Clarity X comes with a calibrated listening for headphones as well. So we're actually including a list of headphones uh, that we have measured at the factory also. So within given tolerances, you can dial up a certain headphone and then you can produce a certain sound pressure level for a certain signal. And that's uh, a good way of connecting your loudspeakers to your headphones. Mm -hmm. 